Hi Curious Gang, it's your curious and awkward friend Vasi and can you guess where we are today? Because we are in one of the seven world wonders. Can you believe that? We, are, we made it all the way to Mexico to Chichen Itza which is right behind me. Fun question for you, do you know which are the other six world wonders? So. In this cool video, I will take you with me to Chichen Itza, we will meet a shaman, we'll visit a colonial city and also jump into the waters of a cenote. Are you ready guys? Okay, let's go! And we're at the city of Valladolid. So, so guys, our first stop was the city of Valladolid, which is actually landlocked and it is very quiet, super peaceful and also extremely warm, just to warn you. The most important thing is that it's extremely charming, colorful and cute. First impressions of this city, this, you can oh. really, really feel that. Uh, so it's a question for me. Okay, go Ben first. Oh no, I mean, like, you can definitely see it's like, it's a colonial city because it looks very European, but has been adapted to like you know the sort of like yeah, definitely. Yucatan Peninsula. But it's like, like two hours away from Cancun, but it is totally, totally different. It looks a lot more European and maybe a lot more what I imagined Mexico very, itself very to be. Look how cute it is in here. So at the moment we are at this organized tour and one of the things which they told us that really impressed me is that the main square where we are at the moment before the Ma local Mayans were not allowed to step in here. How weird is that? Because basically this was the main gathering spot for Europeans. Quickly doing the local tradition in here to hold our hands. Hold our hands. We should promise each other eternal love. Eternal love. And I think the kiss would really go well. And while we were going to a typical Mayan village, or at least this is uh, how they promoted it before we actually went into there, we spoke about the Mayan calendar and you guys, do you actually know that it is divided into 18 named months, each of which has 20 days and then there is one month with five nameless days. Hmm, how interesting. Are you ready to hear how does the Mayan language sound like? Thank you for coming, my home is your home, be welcome! Gracias. 
so we just purified the stone that we got and they said that it's used for massages and everything it was and a the very positivity multiplies by the by the tip tip amount <laughs> it was very interesting experience because I have never been to like any shamans before I've never but... been slapped with branches Oh, hi everybody! Hi Ben! Uh, it's, it's a nice experience, you know, but at the same time we have to think that like this is like mass tourism Otherwise there, there's no way you can just like go to a Mayan place and you know, eat their like traditional food So like, I, I mean like, it's nice, you know, to be here, but like it's just made, you know, on a certain scale To accommodate for like, you know, the lower cost and the experience I mean, it wasn't really as typical Mayan village as they explained it to be It was more of a shop, but anyways, it was still very interesting The city of water sorcerers. This is what Chichen Itza means in Maya. Chichen Itza was one of the most important city states in the pre Hispanic American era. Did you guys know that? And talking about mysteries, something even more mysterious is that during spring and autumn equinox, the sun creates a shadow across the pyramid that gives the appearance of a snake slithering down the staircase. I'm telling you, the Mayan culture is filled with mysteries. Ben here with the history time plans. So back in the Mayan times, royalties, as like since they were kids, they were supposed to like wear a sort of like disc wrapped around their brains or around their head to like elongate it. the skull, like like the my girlfriend's animating it, yeah, just for you know visual purposes. But yeah, this was mostly done with royalties and would elongate the skull, and this was seen as a building trait, I would say. But the most interesting thing is that. They told us that in the small villages around in here, there are people still doing it and uh, it's not actually considered child abuse, which I find a little bit odd. Guys, the most mind-blowing thing at Chichen Itza is that if you clap your hands at the base of the pyramid, you will hear the song of the Mayan bird echoing through the air. I mean, this is still a mystery to me, how does it work, but listen. One, two, three! This is amazing! Yeah. My grandma has this plant, but now I see it in real life and in real nature, how is it supposed to be? I don't know if you can realize how big this place is. And the echo is actually incredible. I think this is what has surprised me the most so far. Whew, this uh, photo session made me sweat, literally, so I cannot wait to swim in the cenote. Oh, and the most exciting part, it's coming! It's the swimming. And uh, apparently, like, it is obligatory, literally, for... Mandatory. It's the same. Obligatory for everyone to have a light life jacket. So I just rented mine, which is uh, 40 pesos, and now we're going to swim, or at least I am. I don't think that Ben will be swimming, but the good side of that is that you will be able to see me. Maybe not go underwater, but at least like. At least our things are gonna be safe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just had a slightly cold shower, a little bit freezing, but ready to go. Guys, have you noticed how when people talk about Mexico, they always talk about cenotes? But what actually are they? They're basically this sort of caves which contain permanent water.
I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more content from Mexico, hit here on the left and I will see you in the video there. Love you all. Bye.